Hello everyone and welcome on this episode of the Metal Pilgrim interview series. We will be joined by the co-founder and the drummer of a German metal band Varg Sylvester Grunman, who will be speaking about the band's upcoming release Zeichen, the process behind it and the atmosphere in the band with all the new members in it. As always, I'm asking you to subscribe to Metal Pilgrim channel on YouTube and on Instagram to stay tuned with the updates and for more exclusive interviews, first-hand rock and metal news and reviews. Here you go. Hey, Sylvester, how's it going, man? Hey, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm yeah. Fine. Totally you, fine. A little bit stressed because tomorrow <laughs> is the, album, the big album release. Yes, tomorrow, so, man. <laughs> and wait for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone is is excited. Uh, I'm sure. Are you in Germany actually? I'm in Germany actually. I'm at my 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 flat okay. in uh, Bavaria. So okay. yeah, finally, because uh, we've got an appointment a few uh -huh. days ago. Okay. <laughs> I I couldn't do it because I've got an accident at work. I'm oh really? In industrial climber. Yeah, just I I hurt my knee oh, a bit. Shit. So yeah, but now I'm fine. And I'm for a drummer, that's that's a bit of a <laughs> Bad one. <laughs> How yeah. are you feeling? Better now? Yeah, right. Better. Okay, that's great. Everything's that's good. Yeah, good to hear. Right. How's the overall situation in Germany now with the with the pandemic and all that kind of stuff? Uh, it's it's quite okay, but okay. we are already waiting for the second wave. Everyone so is. We all know that it will be happens, and yeah. yeah, there are a lot of orders to wear a mask etc and it's all fine so it's, mm -hmm. it's it's cool but there's also all the concerts all the shows are cancelled that's yeah, the bad thing sucks. about it yeah. yeah but on on the other hand you have seven billion brothers and sisters all in exactly the same all boat as world. you are yes, right. <laughs> that's what i keep telling myself <laughs> yeah that's true that's true i mean yeah, uh, i hope we, we can can make this in a couple of next months and then. everyone is i'm i'm really excited to you know uh get some shows hopefully soon again yeah me too yeah, yeah we've got uh uh, a Vag show, not not a Vag show. We've got a festival here in Germany. We mm -hmm. organize. We are the organizers yep. of this festival. And yeah, next week it will start. We, uh, normally it's with around about five thousand people. Now we can mm -hmm. get in two thousand people. Okay. So that we have enough space between each other, so two meters, mm -hmm. and everyone in the infield have to wear a mask. Yeah. But it's still a show. It's so still a show. We'll it's better. It it's yeah. better than anything driving or you know online shows. I yeah, guess. right. I can't wait for it. Yeah, Hopefully absolutely. Everything went well. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you said, you know the big uh, uh, the big news uh, the the latest studio album Teichen. Uh, sorry for my German pronunciation. I have none. Oh, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, uh, fake fine. it till you make it. <laughs> but it will be released tomorrow. Um, wow, that's that's great. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the creative process behind it? How did it all come together and how did you, you um, kind of shaped it? it? It was a kind of a long process. It but was. we've got this time. So <laughs> we got two new musicians in the band, yeah. uh, two new guitar players. And first year we, we just play shows together to know each other better and, mm -hmm. and the, the vibe for the band and then we decided okay let's go back to the studio and what would we would we like to do and we all together say okay let's go back to the roots mm -hmm. back to the pagan metal vibes because uh yeah 14 years ago we released our first album Wolfside. Mm -hmm. it was a uh, just pagan metal album and in between these 14 years we we changed a bit of our styles from day to from album to album so sometimes we go it's there was always still this viking input in our music but uh, at one point we lost it a little bit yeah and now we decided to okay go back to the roots and then it was pretty easy for us because this is what we feel all the time we are mm -hmm. kind of in this viking mythology all together and we decided, okay, let's go back to the roots. And then it was just keep on going. It was so easy to write this album. Okay. Unbelievable. Normally we, we write 20 songs and just 10 of these songs 
go to the album. Mm -hmm. And this time we just read this 10 songs and all of them are perfect oh. put it on the album. So oh, yeah. good for you. That's, uh, that's great to hear. But yeah, it did take you a bit of time. Uh, and, you know, for you, it, it was, uh, you know, given the regular schedule you usually had before, you know, the previous release, this this is a substantial, you know, amount of time. Um, but then yeah. you kind of decided to release it still during the pandemic, uh, when you cannot go on <laughs> tour and support. <laughs> what uh, what kind of influenced your decision to not wait until, you know, until this is over in a couple of months, hopefully? Because when we started to, to record this album, it was way before the pandemic. Okay. So, and... You know the feeling you have something in your hands and you want to give it to your girl Absolutely. girlfriend or something <laughs> yes. like that, like a gift. Absolutely, you can't yeah. Do it now. You can't hide <laughs> it anymore, and it's the same with us. So we want to give the music to to the people because we love this album so much. Mm -hmm. And it's also, especially in these times, it's I think it's really important to mm -hmm. to give people stuff for her brain to think mm -hmm. about and and some good vibes. Yeah. yeah. Because music is so important, and we can't lost it just for for shots or for for sellings on on tour. Fuck that shit. So we want to give the music to the fans and hope everyone enjoy this. And hopefully we can go back on tour in the I don't know in a couple of months, and yeah. then we will go with the full album. Yeah, yeah. And um, and the good thing is everybody will know the songs then. That is Most true. Of the time you 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 bring out a new album and. Bam! Next day you go on tour, and yeah. nobody knows the songs. And this time we can play the the full album, and everybody knows. Who knows? The songs. Maybe this pandemic will overall change the general, you know, release from a tour routine, uh, uh, you know, to and shape it kind of kind of slightly different. Who knows? We'll see in a couple of years, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah. But yeah, I, I have to agree with you. I was able to listen to the album, um, you know, a bit earlier. Um, uh, be jealous, everyone. Uh, but uh, the, it is kind of different from its predecessor, right? I mean, both musically and stylistically, uh, which I think is more important. Um, I cannot say that it's, you know, um, it's completely on the other side of the spectrum. No, it still has that, you know, melodic death, uh, uh, guitar at some point, you know, breakdown riffs, uh, you know, drum work. Yeah, cool. Also, this catchy guitar riff, riffing, etc. Yeah, that's this. This is with Vark all the time. So yeah. we yeah. try to <laughs> to keep it in. Yeah. yeah, but it's definitely not a follow up. Like I would no. say, you kind of closed one chapter and then either reopened uh, the one you did, you know, way back, uh, or um, you know, or just started a completely new one, right? And. Um, what uh, I I understand that you have you know a couple of new guys uh, in the band obviously but what kind of made you go um, go back to the older sound uh, did you did you guys kind of um, miss it <laughs> um, yeah oh yeah we, we really miss it because um, it's more catchy I think mm -hmm. this 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 other stuff than also the lyrics we don't wanna we, uh, that's hard to explain for me, but when you, especially we sing in Germany, every every one of our German fans know the lyrics pretty well. Yeah. And for some albums, we we sing about something what what's happened in the world right now, political stuff, etc. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some they they can, I I don't know how to say. Um, they can put it against you. Mm -hmm. You mean it this way, but but someone understand it this way. Yeah. So that was the biggest problem, and now it's way more easier to to pack our message into this uh yeah fairy tale viking lyrics yeah yeah that's that's pretty cool and on this record in addition to a new guitarist right you've introduced a newest member to the band uh, a female vocalist yeah. uh filgia right um yes, right so this definitely added to the dynamic uh you know of the band's sound i mean it sounds like nothing it sounded before um how did you come to this decision? This is, uh, she she was working on this album a lot with us, mm -hmm. so she, she's the wife of our singer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and so this both together designed the whole concept of the album. Mm -hmm. So from the lyrics, from the mm -hmm. how does the band look now? Because we change a little bit with our makeup, be more authentic with our uh, yes. stage closing, etc. And this is all her work, so mm -hmm. perfectly. Nice. And 
So it does and seem like she blended into the band, you know, and working with her is, is nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, she's a amazing singer. Yeah, and, sure. um, and she was on tour with us and, and was singing the intro of mm -hmm. our um, tour show mm -hmm. for, for one year. And then we decided, OK, let's do a song together. Mm -hmm. And it fits perfectly. It's not that she sing on the whole album. It's just one song that's totally female voices mm -hmm. and it's perfect it's not that the band has changed we are we, we're the same brutal mm -hmm. yeah bad as guys like <laughs> always <laughs> so yeah uh that, that that's cool you know one of the first things when i heard her voice uh, i was like who is that i gotta look her up because i you had this feeling you kind of you know almost knew her from somewhere but then i was like no i i don't actually no. this this no, is no, a completely no. she, she, new face to the metal open. scene yeah she, she was an open singer, opa, mm -hmm. opera singer in Germany. Oh, nice. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's amazing. Pretty good. Uh, so how did the, you know, the dynamics within the band uh, between you guys, uh, you know, changed with the with three new members pretty much uh, since the last album? No, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> For me, in the beginning, it was pretty hard to, to go on tour with two, two new band members yes. uh, because I was touring more than 10 years with with the same pack of mm -hmm. guys and we've got a lot of stories to tell <laughs> but mm -hmm. and but now after two years we fit together as a as a brand new perfect band so it's just amazing yeah that's good good to hear about that man um you've also released uh three was it three right um uh, music videos prior to yes, right. uh, yeah to this album and the latest one was just just a day ago um yeah <laughs> it was just a day ago and it was just shoot it a week ago <laughs> oh so really <laughs> because all of this corona uh stuff that it's so hard to to shoot music videos because no one lets you into his i don't know uh house ground whatever and say yeah yeah you can bring 20 people and make a music video over here so it's pretty hard to find a place where you can shoot the video and you have to find the, the, the video guys. Normally we've got a team from Poland, mm -hmm. but they weren't allowed to come over to oh, Germany shit, to shoot sucks. with us. Air. So it was the decision, okay, what, what will we make? So we call a couple of guys and ask them, hey, would you make a music video for us? <laughs> Farad Hirana, it was the first, it was the, just a photographer, this guy. And it was his <laughs> really? first music video ever. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, pretty hard, but we made it. Yeah. Yeah, you made it, and it looks good. Um, I I yeah. enjoyed it a lot, and uh, you know the comments uh, say exactly the same thing about the other fans uh, of the band. And uh, as I understand, uh, you know Filgia was the one who directed it more or less. You know the idea, the costumes, and stuff like that. Yes, right. And yeah. that goes also for 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 the album for the video section. She make all the custom stuff for for the other guys in the video. Wow, here. this is amazing. This is pretty cool job. It's a lot of work. It <laughs> is. I can imagine. <laughs> um, so the next question is going to be like choosing a favorite kid, an impossible one. Uh, I don't know if you have kids, but it is it is a hard one. But which is your favorite song from the album? It's. Farah Tirana, okay. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I love the drum part in this album, in this song, and I just love the lyrics in this song. And, mm -hmm. and her voice, it's perfect. So this is by way far my, my favorite song. Uh, yeah, but I love all the other songs too. So it's, <laughs> of course. it's the first Vark release where I want to play every song live. Okay. Most of the releases, I was ah, uh, don't let, let's play, don't play this song, don't play this song. But this time, ah, oh, just every every song is perfect. Yeah, maybe you I you can it. play it in its entirety. You know, whenever the time comes. Who knows? I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and and you know, a couple of more questions just about the album itself. Uh, you know, the album cover work, uh, cover yeah. art, it's very simplistic. Um, it features a sign or a rune of some sort. Uh, yeah. Could you explain it a bit for those people who are not too familiar with the mythology? Yeah, it, it, it's a rune, okay. or, but mixed of some other runes. And mm -hmm. when you put this rune, um, <laughs> when you, when you uh, put it out, 
then it's the word wolf. Oh. So all of the wounds, that means wolf, are put together in one wound. All right, so it is Varg. Yeah. Uh, we'll just put it is, in. This is Varg, yeah. Right. Okay. And it means, hey, we are back to the roots. We are back where the wolf pack is back again. That's so pretty cool. The meaning for us. That's yeah. pretty symbolic, pretty small. So man. that's why it's so simple. Okay, that's pretty cool. And talking about, you know, this new slash old sound, um, do you think it's a fair uh, it's fair to say that the band kind of, you know, jo uh, journeyed around and then came back to this original sound and this is what you found and this is going to be you know the uh the sound that you're going to go with in the future releases as well or you have no idea yet where it's going to take you i would say this is the sound for the future mm -hmm. but maybe just for the next album because you never know <laughs> you never know <laughs> <laughs> that is true you know um yeah uh, that is true. And, um, you know, talking, you, you just mentioned that you you would love to go on tour in support of this album. Obviously, we all would love to see you live and, uh, you know, and the whole industry to be back uh, to normal. Uh, yeah. uh, do you have anything planned already? Um, yeah, there's a plan for uh, for an album tour in October, November this year, mm -hmm. but most of the shows are already cancelled. Okay. Maybe we can try to fix a little bit of the shows and then, I don't know, put it to a bigger area with the same crowd size. So we don't know yet because the second wave is already coming in Germany and I'm pretty sure there is a second lockdown coming too. Most likely. Israel just implemented yeah. one already, the first one, uh, the first country. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that sucks. And um, you know, one of the questions from uh, from the fans uh, when I do a shout out, usually you know before the interview, was yeah. uh, about the the restrictions that will be placed uh, on on these con uh, concerts. Uh, I assume that you have no idea yet of what is going to be there. Yeah, it would be okay. You have to take a mask for sure. Mm -hmm. And then is uh, there are already some concerts here in in my area. Um, you have to sit on a table mm -hmm. with your group of, of guys really? and then the next table is two meters away and oh, okay. with the group of guys and they sit there in front of a lot of heavy metal and <laughs> metalcore bands and just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> drinking beer. Uh, so this is weird. Like a, a Bavarian beer garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, I'm, I'm very much of a live show guy, right? I mean, I'm, I I go to a lot of shows and for me, metal is in... You know, in this energy that is released during these concerts, and uh, if if I am just forced to sit at the table or you know listen to the band online only, this is this yeah. is better than nothing. But uh, I believe that it's doesn't contribute to the fullness of this experience, unfortunately. Yeah, it's hopefully it's not the future because I'm not a fan of all this live concerts. Yeah, it's it's quite cool sometimes, but uh, and I like the feeling. I want to meet people at the concert and yeah, see the band live and head banging all around etc that is true that's what i miss yeah yeah again fingers crossed maybe maybe we're gonna get back to normal soon um uh, but just a couple of more questions man i'm, I'm conscious of your time is pretty late uh already sure. uh it's cool but um you gotta tell me one crazy ass story from your touring days uh one show that's you know, got stuck in your head the most, or one memory that you cherish if you're sentimental. Um, just anything that you know um, that that is worth sharing with the crowd. It's so much. <laughs> I've got so many memories in my head that I loved so much from from crazy stuff. From uh, I was on one tour, I was leaving the nightliner in the middle of the night, just with my underwear <laughs> at a gas station in the middle of nowhere and the nightliner leaves and i was standing there at this gas station just my underwear no mobile phone <laughs> nothing with me and i fuck okay they missed me they, they, they were singing i'm i'm in my bed and, and, sleeping. and then i <laughs> went to this gas station they called the police and the police picked me up and drive straight behind the nightliner with with all the blue light and stop the nightliner and say hey you forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine one, the look in their one face. Of, one of our funny stories, but uh, <laughs> the most uh, crazy experience was uh, one of our North America tours when I played the first time in Seattle in one of these clubs where Nirvana played mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And 
was just a small club. I am fits 300 people, something about this, but it was such an energy at this show. I, I never forget this feeling. Yeah. This is amazing. And usually, so, but every show is special. That's the good. That the is cool true. Thing. And you, know, you see, it's not always, you know, the largest stadiums or the largest crowd that gets yeah, you know, right. into your heart. It is, uh, it is this little or sentimental show that can, you know, be the memory that you cherish. Uh, that's great. Yeah. Iron Man, um, uh, Sylvester, last message for the fans. Anything you want to share with them before the big release? Um, yeah, thanks for listening. And um, I know it's a fucking hard time at the moment, but we all in this together, like I said before, and we will see us next year at some shows. Finger crossed. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I, okay. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, man, for for being my guest tonight. And uh, you know, Thank keep rocking. You Good luck. Much. Thanks, man. See keep ya. Keep rocking. Bye, buddy. Thanks.